Hello and here we are on the very last lesson of the beginners series. Last time I promised you some more NCTJ exam passages at 60 and at 80 words per minute. We had one last time, the 60 word a minute. What I want you to do this time is to have a look at the passage and think about some of the word groupings that you could use. And then for the next exam, don't look at the passage beforehand, just play the audio and take it down and look at it later when you're checking your transcription and ask yourself, which word groupings could I have used? And then you will find a sheet with all the shorthand and you'll be able to pick out the word groupings that you could have used. Remember, if you didn't write all the groupings, that's absolutely fine. There's no right or wrong in T-Line. But, of course, the more word groupings that you use, the quicker you will be writing. And so the easier you will find it to climb the speed ladder. This is an NCTJ shorthand exam to be dictated at 60 words per minute. The title of this exam is Plans to maintain and improve area of natural beauty. When I next speak, it will be the start of the shorthand exam. Ready? Good evening. And thank you for coming to this meeting. You are no doubt here because you are a nature lover and enjoy the splendour of this area. We are lucky to be able to say that we live in one of the most stunning parts of the country. We have over one million people visiting each year. As there are a number of housing developments being built on the fields near the town, we can expect this figure to go up by 10% in the next five years. It is vital to be prepared for this. We have a duty to ensure the beauty of the area is preserved and we are able to host more people. Ready? We have set out two plans. These plans show how we can make sure there will be space for all to continue to enjoy the open air and natural beauty of the area 
without spoiling it. The first one is about maintenance. For example, many of the paths need a lot of work to make them safe. The second is about improvements. This plan includes better access for wheelchair users. The area must continue to be a home for nature and a place for all people to enjoy. The cost of the work will be met by the builders of the new homes in the area. Once you have studied the two plans, I would like to hear your comments. This is an NCTJ shorthand exam to be dictated at 60 words per minute. The title of this exam is Human Resources Holds Meeting About Public Transport. When I next speak, it will be the start of the shorthand exam. Ready? Good morning to you all. I am aware that I am meeting one or two of you for the first time. So let me introduce myself. I am Jane Long. And I am part of the human resources team in this firm. I have called you here to talk about the problems many of you face with public transport. I am talking particularly about trains. We are lucky that this company is just a short distance from the station. So it seems a good idea to use this mode of transport. However, we have had a number of you arriving late due to delayed trains. This is difficult for all, but the result is more and more lost working hours. Ready? I have called this meeting as enough is enough and we must find a solution. Last week 
a meeting involving 10 people was held up for an hour while we were waiting for two key members of the team. Arriving late is becoming more and more commonplace and this lost time is costing our business money. In the first place, we know public transport is unreliable. I would ask you to aim to travel on an earlier train to the one you usually get in order to arrive at work on time. I am sorry to say that if you are delayed, we will have to ask you to make up the time lost at the end of the day. This is an NCTJ shorthand exam to be dictated at 80 words per minute. The title of this exam is Teenage Girl Goes Missing From Home. When I next speak, it will be the start of the shorthand exam. Ready? Good morning and thank you for coming to this press call. My name is Anne Williams and I am a police inspector. I am here to tell you that police are still looking for the 15 year old girl who went missing from her home in Green Lane last week. Emma Brown has been missing for six days now and we are becoming more and more concerned for her safety. Emma left home at approximately seven o'clock last Tuesday evening. She told her mother she was going to visit a school friend who lived half a mile away in Oak Drive. They had arranged to discuss homework. She said she would be back in about half an hour. After an hour, Emma's mother rang the friend to see if Emma was still there. Emma's friend had been at home all through the evening, but she had not seen Emma. She had assumed that she had changed her mind about visiting. Ready? Emma's mother drove through the streets looking for her daughter. When she got back to the house 
and found that she had still not returned. She phoned other friends to ask if they had seen her. Finally, at 10 o'clock, she phoned the police. Emma was wearing blue jeans and a thin navy jacket with a hood when she was last seen. She had not taken her mobile phone with her and the last call she made was to the friend she was going to see. Emma's mother said that on the day Emma went missing, she was happy and spoke about watching television later that night. She had been talking about her day at school and was looking forward to the weekend when she was going away with her older sister. We have no idea what might have happened to her. If anyone has any information which might lead us to Emma, they can contact the police in complete confidence. This is an NCTJ shorthand exam to be dictated at 80 words per minute. The title of this exam is Youths on Bikes Cause Problems at Shopping Complex. When I next speak, it will be the start of the shorthand exam. Ready? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for coming to this meeting. It is good to see so many of you here today. My name is James Brown, and I am a member of the Council's Planning Committee. It is three years since we saw the town's new shopping complex built. We were all very pleased to see the new modern structure with a high glass roof. This makes it possible for shoppers to stay undercover yet at the same time feel as if they are outside in the open. As you know, the complex is built on a pleasant site very close to the river. A path runs through brightly coloured flower beds and across a bridge to a park. It looks like something you would see in a glossy magazine. And the people of this town are very pleased and proud of the new complex, which has brought a lot of new trade to the town. Ready?
At first, people were happy to visit. But over the last few months, things have changed. When this complex was built, we did not know that it would attract gangs of youths as a meeting place. As these groups of youths charge around on their bikes, doing wheelies and jumps, many people feel threatened. They make a lot of noise. Some have been seen drinking alcohol, even though they are underage, and they throw their cans on the ground. Last week, five youths had their bikes taken away by the police. A letter was sent to the parents of the youths saying that their behaviour was not acceptable and warning them that bike riding was banned in the complex. The bikes were returned to the boys at the end of the week. We hope this message will be a strong one and that the area will now feel much safer and people will want to visit the shopping complex. So how did you do with all those examination passages? Hopefully you're happy, but if not, you can start over again. Perhaps for the first few times you could trace the outlines, uh, print out the shorthand and trace the outlines while you're listening. Every one of you will have a different learning style. What's important is that when you've done your practice, you feel that you've improved a little bit from last time. And you definitely will the more practice you put in. When you feel ready, you can now move on to the speed development series. There's two series and that they will take you from 60 up to 120 words per minute. So stay with us and let's love tea line together.